I thought they stopped making these old analog meters years ago, but apparently, yes, you can still buy this one new. And they're not exactly cheap. It actually costs much more than I think any of the DMMs that I currently have. Check out my old meter. This was given to me when I first started working at the phone company. Before we had digital meters, we all carried around these. I haven't used this thing in, oh, I don't know, probably 15 years. <laughs> I got a nice digital test set, but uh, this has just been sitting for the last, I don't want to say 15 or so years since I took it out of my truck. And I figured I'd show this old meter off. This is an old triplet corporation model 310 tell is the model number of this meter and this is just a, a basic analog meter I know I should clean it up <sighs> should blow some blow some air on it and dust it off but it's been sitting in the case with the case open I used to carry this thing around with the cover open like this all the time cover was was kept like this so that it was ready to be used right because we used to carry this thing up poles and, you know, so the cover was kept kind of open like that have a clip on here so I could carry it on my belt and the test leads and everything were here and I go up, go up a pole and clip it onto the messenger and use it for measuring lines we would check it we would use it for checking capacitance and so forth on uh, long loops and looking for faults this is how we used to troubleshoot in a, a loop was looking at how the meter responded but it'll measure AC voltage up to 300 volts It'll measure milliamps from 0 0.6 to 600 milliamps. Uh, ohms, it only goes up to, it's only got to scale up, up as high as 1K. And uh, times 1, of course, measures what's on here. Then you have to actually have to multiply. So, so times 100, right, then this becomes, uh, or times 10, this becomes 50 becomes 500 ohms. And then it becomes times 100, it would be 5K. So you had to, you had to multiply this in your head. To figure out what you were measuring so it required a little bit of thought when you were measuring resistance and measuring voltage but i think we'll take this thing apart and you guys can see what's inside here because it might surprise you what it has for batteries they're not normal batteries that you'll find anywhere this uses special batteries now on a meter like this if you wanted to measure ohms for example the first thing you had to do is you had to zero the meter out so you would, you would select your ohms reading and then you would short the probes together and you would adjust the zero control so that your meter read zero ohms. Now the meter's calibrated for measuring resistance. So if I measure this 2.2K resistor, we will see that it goes to 2.2 because 200 times 10 is 2000. So there's 2.2. Okay, you see, that's how you would measure a resistor like that. No, they're not as accurate as a digital meter, but they are close enough for measuring. Uh, if I want to measure voltage, say I go to my 15 volt scale, I've got my power supply set for, say, we'll set it for 10 volts. So my power supply is set for 10.0 volts. And if I connect my meter up, it will tell me that I'm on 10 volts because there's my 10 volt scale. It's actually telling me it's a little bit higher than 10. But again, it's it's close enough on the 60 volt scale. And uh, we're gonna be measuring, there's 10 volts on the 60 volt scale. You see, you've got a, a 15 volt scale, a 60 volt scale, and a 300 volt scale. So on the 15 volt scale, there's just, just under 10, just measuring just under 10, which is actually is set for 10.0. On the three volt scale, it's gonna pin because your three volt scale, you use the 300, or you could use the, the AC scale, which will show three, right? To measure AC voltage, you flip it over to the AC side. Obviously, it's not going to measure anything right now because uh, uh, I, have to, I have to get something to, to measure with it. So let me grab uh, a cheater cord that I can 
connect it to. That one probe is broken, so it's not going to go into a. It won't fit into a standard plug. So I need to use my my cheater cord to do this. So let's just grab my good old cheater cord here and plug it in. And I'll try not to electrocute myself. And there it is. So we're in the 100. We're in the 300 volt range, and here's our reading, about 120 volts right there. So here's where these units get kind of interesting. In the back, there's these two small batteries. And these batteries are kind of unique because, as you can see, one of them has a 12 volt battery. And some of these meters actually used a 22 volt battery, but this one uses a 12 volt battery. So this battery here, this E90, this is our standard one and a half volt size N battery. But this one, this is a 12 volt battery. One's physically larger than the other. This is called an A23, a specialty battery. And I bet you these things are quite expensive to buy them. I'm, I think you can still get them. I don't, I don't know how old, well, I know how old this one is. It's been in the meter since I got it. So I've, I got this meter in 2005. So this me, this battery is like 17 years old. And it was used a fair bit until we got digital equipment. And then here's this other battery. And they say this battery is just as old, but you see, made in USA, no leaky batteries here. Not like this Chinese batteries that we see today, which would be leaking even though they are fully charged. This one, oh, this one's made in China. I spoke too soon. Made in USA. Well, let's uh, check the voltage out on these batteries and see how well these batteries have held their charge over the past 17 years that I've had this meter. So this is the one and a half volt battery. And we'll see that this battery is still measuring up to 1.497. So I would say that that battery is still got a good charge in it. This is the 12 volt battery. The 12 volt battery is used when you're measuring resistance, by the way. And this one here is probably dead because the loading of my meter is actually drawing it down a little bit. But this is a high voltage, very low current battery only used for basically measuring resistance. So it will go back up. But that's still, for a, a battery that's 17 years old, that's still doing pretty good. So this meter was last inspected and calibrated November 19th, 2003. So that is likely when these batteries went in, was when this meter was last serviced. That gives you an idea of how long the batteries lasted. Although, if I'd been using this thing every day, I would have had to replace them. Because, um, you know, they, they when you're measuring ohms, a voltmeter side, you're not using any batteries. But when you're, when you're measuring ohms, it's using the battery. And it uses the two batteries differently. It uses the, I believe it's the 12-volt battery if you're on, like, uh, 1,000 or 1K ohm. And you're using the 1.5-volt battery if you're on... The times one or times ten. I think that's the way it was configured. Was it used the two batteries uh, separately? These screws go in forever. As do these ones. There we go. So there's the inside of the meter, and you can see it's just a little circuit board here with a switch. The switch contacts connect to the various resistors to do the voltage dividing. Got a little meter here that's calibrated, and you can set it. It's not quite on zero. Anyway, um, that's it. 
not much to this thing. Um, if I pull the circuit board out, you'll see what's in behind there, but I'm not going to do that. Put those back in. Put the meter back together. positive there and the 1.5 battery goes in there the back cover goes back on like that there we go right on zero it's adjusted with the screw here on the front as well this goes through through and you can adjust it you see you can zero out the meter so you adjust it so it's right sitting on zero if I put this thing back together properly, I will have readings on my ohms when I short the probes together. Which I do. Okay, that's a little old triplet corporation model 310 tell. A little meter that was produced specifically for the telephone industry. That was used for many, many years. And there's probably a few old school guys that still use this. Thanks for watching.